Welcome back, everybody. Let's finish off this character. Let's do the final steps of painting, and then we'll do some reflected light. Again, I tried to start with just the larger areas, just to help us get a feel. It's hard to, you know, shade one little teeny thing when everything large around it isn't really, you know, giving us any sense of light. Look at these boots here. Here on that layer. So they are like dark colored boots here. Very dark brown. Desaturated dark brown. More. Right way to describe him. Somehow I switched brushes. Don't even know when I did that or how I did that. Oh, going back. All right, I knew something was weird. Just didn't have that soft edge that this brush has. I can tell, but. I think something was off, but I can quite wasn't hundred percent sure. It's always kind of tough when you're making a video and you're like, okay, do I stop? Am I right? But at the end I it wasn't looking good. It was kind of unsalvageable. Alright, let me zoom out a little bit and see. I think that's the same color here on his elbow. And the idea here was just that, oh, is his hat the same thing? Yeah, his hat's the same thing. I just was thinking, like, I wanted to show a different color black, right? So we have the more bluish black here. This is a more brownish kind of black that's under his hat. Um, just, just to give it some, you know, and help it have a different feel um, to the material, whatever it is, right? Okay, so let's look for the highlight. Desaturate a little bit, lighten it up. And hit my side facing the light. Top of this hat, for sure. Missed this side here. Okay. X, by the way, switches back and forth with your palettes. Palette, two palette colors. This, again, I, I know some of these things, hopefully, you know already, but I figure it cannot hurt to remind some of this stuff. This Photoshop is a pretty complicated program as programs go. Especially this day and age when we're used to iPads and phones and all those programs where they make everything so simple and they practically do a lot of things for you. Photoshop does a lot, but it, a lot it doesn't do for you. All right. I don't think I want to add another level of highlight. I'm going to try it anyways. Okay, maybe I do.
just a little bit. All right. Well, still in the leather here. Got lots and lots of little bits here. So uh, next to this more brown color. So I'm darken that up. So not a lot of detail on this holster here. It's very square. Shadow from the uh, poncho. All right, another shadow from the poncho, just the corner there. Ooh, excellent. Some streaks there just for some texture. All right, a lot of this is blacked out here um, on the detail. All right, let's try highlight here. Let it go a little orange there. Let's see what that looks like. Not much I can do there. Shoulder pads here. Not really pads. Shoulder points. Right. We're getting there. Gun, belt, those little doodahs. All right, let's do this gun. It's on that layer. So I just gotta think about the shape here. Whoops, on brush. A lot of wood grain in here. So let's get to that highlight. I think it's gonna help a ton.
All right, so I'm purposely leaving a lot of streaks here. Hopefully it's looking like wood grain to some degree. Got the idea across. All right, scanning, scanning, scanning. Buckle. Gosh, I don't even know if I did the buckle on anything. Oh, I did. The same layer as a poncho. And the gun, I think, too. Same. Yeah, same. And the little uh, rivets are. Yeah, I guess they're rivets. Okay, silver buckle. Bring up the opacity because this is so small. I don't want to hit these a billion times. I just want to hit these little studs, rivets, studs, whatever they are. Move on. Just hitting the left side, kind of treating them like they're round. So, so tiny. Okay. So let me go to white here and see what happens. Whoops. All right. Just looking around. Okay, not too bad. Um, looking at the red here on these little jewels. Huh. Pick this dark red here. I'm actually going to kind of shade the top of them and see how that turns out. With jewels, oh yeah, my opacity is pretty high. That's why it's coming out so strong. Back to 30. But with jewels, I don't know. I, there's just kind of another way to go about shading them. And the idea is that the light is passing through them because they're not all the way opaque. They're a bit transparent and kind of shining out the bottom. So there's a little bit of a different thing going on, or can be. I'm gonna go to orange now. Again, light up the bottom here. I 
it's a kind of a rough drawing. So hopefully this gets the idea across. A little bit, maybe. Let me take it to one more level of highlight here with the jewel. I'm just doing like a little, little something right there on the bottom part of these things. All right, feeling all right about this guy so far? Okay, just looking and making sure I didn't forget anything obvious. Mostly he looks, he looks all done. Last step would be reflected light. One thing I didn't do was add a background color, which I should have probably done early. If you remember to do this, do this early. Let's see, let's see, pop more. Yeah, I think I definitely like it with a background color. Let's leave it like that. So just to ground them a little bit. Go ahead and select black. On my background, I'm gonna just add a little shadow. Somehow my brush got all small. There we go. All right, that kind of goes a long way there. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna add a new layer here. New layer, ref, reflected light. I'm gonna put it underneath the ink layer. Let's see how this works here. I'm gonna switch back to that brush that I liked a lot right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and go blue, desaturated a ton. And let's hit the back side of this stuff here. Let's see what happens. And I, I, I mean, I make the new layer because I'm kind of chicken. And, you know, I'm not sure. If you're feeling brave, you can go ahead and just do it right on your colors. Too much. The nice thing about this is if it is too much, I didn't I didn't really ruin anything. I can just go ahead and erase it, no problem. Right? In parts.
And if the armor is shiny, it is definitely going to have some reflective light. And again, this is the light from the environment, right? It's kind of, maybe, you know, the sun is illuminating from one side, but not all light hits their subject directly. Some of it, a lot of it, actually, most of it probably goes past your subject and hits whatever else is back here. And what, what bounces back, we call reflected light. Could also be another light source. Really wouldn't be reflected light then, it would just be another light source. But you could make it stronger and can do different colors if you have that sort of thing going. All right, this is pretty much the final step. So I'll move there. I think that looks so much better on the boots. Wow, yeah, the uh, background color, the gray, really helps. Uh, you can see the colors a little better now. And uh, you can see how I could have made some things darker now that I've actually got the neutral kind of gray back there. All right. Okay, and I think that'll just about cut it for this painting. This is a pretty simple method of painting we just went through. Probably about as simple as uh, I would advise in Photoshop, I guess, to do a painting. Uh, you know, just getting some colors underneath the black line art. Um, still can look really good. It's gonna look really good without even doing any paint over techniques or anything like that. This is more of like a comic book style painting. You know, painting under the black line, keeping that as like your borders. But I think you can get some good results with even something like this. All right, I hope you guys uh, had a good time. I hope you guys were able to follow along, and I'll see you guys in the next video.